just put my socks on. So, and I just got up not too long ago. So there is a Scyther on the nearby list. And it is early in the morning. Tomorrow we're headed to Santa Monica. But I'm going to head out and go get the Scyther. Gotta love the shoes with like no lip because you can literally just slide them on. <laughs> so we got the Scyther here in a random person's driveway. Uh, the reason why I knew it be uh, was here because of Poke Tracker and iOS app that I mentioned in my last video. So with Scyther and Jet, like I really wanted to get it because I mean I already have a lot of candies, but I don't have like a amazingly high IV Scyther. So hopefully it has a good IV. I mean, I have enough candies if I needed it for scissors or scissor, but hoping for a good IV. Come on. Ah, not like we make mud headway, but it's all right. We got our first catch of the day. And when I spin a Pokestop, I'll get a first Pokestop for a day. I'll probably turn my lucky egg on that. I forgot. But now we're going to head home, take a shower, and uh, I have some Amazon packages. So, and you can hear my, that's actually my alarm going off. For me to get up <laughs> so i usually come to this park at night and this is what it looks like during the day this is not very big um at all but this is the pikachu nest and i turn on my lucky egg i'm gonna spin the lure we got our one streak bonus nice uh on the on the poke tracker there is only one pikachu so i'm just gonna go catch that there is a lot of rattata and pidgey though so i'll let you know if i get a ditto though and then we'll head home all right guys so i made it back home took a shower uh, I was eating some raspberries, probably one of my favorite fruits, along with strawberries. Uh, I don't know. They taste really good. And then I was drinking some orange juice while it's already all gone. And then I have some Amazon packages right here. I'm going to open these. But I do want to talk about right now, which is probably the title of the video. I also have to get to my dentist appointment in like 20 minutes. So I got to make this quick. But yeah, I'm going to talk about the Generation 2 leak. Uh, I got word of this before I left for Japan. I know I've mentioned it in many other videos talking about it, but I never really stated whether I think it was true or not. And if you guys do not know what I'm talking about, I know countless other YouTubers already made videos on it. But a, also I'll give you the story again. So a Starbucks email from an employee was uh, leaked to the public that had some uh, promotional stuff for their upcoming future dates. And one of them was for Pokemon, or as in the email says, Pokemon. So that, it's kind of funny, but it says Pokemon, December 7th, the launch of Pokemon version 2, dot, 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 Starbucks, well, I'll throw the picture up on the screen so you can see it, if I remember. Starbucks stores will be a part of something, because it cuts off, comes into store, Pokemon Frappuccino, no one really cares about that. Uh, lures will be dropped at all Starbucks stores that will provide even more direct something, but it'll be on January through February. So what what that means is, as you guys know, there are sponsored Pokestops, Poke sponsored gyms. Like in Japan, there was the McDonald's, SoftBank. Uh, there was one other I can't remember, but basically it's just a sponsored, you pay for it and you get a Pokestop at all your locations. And Starbucks seems as though that they're going to be jumping into that and it seems as though maybe they were talking with Niantic like they want to be a sponsor when you guys when Pokemon has a big update. Yes, the email does say Pokemon, but <sighs> honestly like if you guys remember when I got pulled over, or not pulled over, but I got the cops called to me for playing Pokemon, when the cop walked up up to me and he I rolled down my window and he's like, "So what you playing Pokemon's?" So a lot of older people, a lot of adults, a lot of even like People our age just call, or my age, call it Pokemans. Whether they just want to, they don't know the correct way how to say it, or it could be a mistypo. So I don't think that degrades the, uh, the authenticity of the email, but December 7th is really close, so only time will tell, but it makes sense. Like, there was an in interview with John Hankey, uh, well, there's a bunch of interviews, where he said, like, the holiday seasons before and during are going to be great for Pokemon. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff going on around that time. One which we already got was Ditto. Um, so if that's the only thing, I'm going to be kind of discouraged because Ditto was cool, but it was like... It was just to be added. It's not like adding a whole bunch of new Pokemon. Um, so I feel as though there's going to be a lot more... And it's, it states version 2. A lot of people took that as gen or Generation 2 for Pokemon. 
it it may not be uh but either way i feel as though it's true in the sense that there will be a big update soon whether that's on december 7th i sure hope so whether it's generation 2 i hope to god all the all the signs point to it like the game is kind of pretty much at an all-time well not an all-time but a, a low for user rates because it's winter now it's getting cold uh, and they niantic probably wants a spark to bring up their game and generation 2 would be perfect for that so I think there's a high chance. I definitely think it's true that there will be a big update very, very soon here. But will it be Generation 2? I sure hope so. And I, 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 the, the signs say yes. So that's what I'm going to say. Uh, I think the, the rumor, I was just going to talk about the rumor in this video. I think the rumor is true. That is my personal opinion. Uh, only time will tell. If it's not December 7th, hopefully it's soon. But I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Generation 2 though, gotta get hyped. Got the Scyther 4, we talked about it earlier, but now, let's open these. So, this one is for cables, uh, for storage. But this is the car mount, you guys will see that. I, I, talked to, I talked about it yesterday, I actually got two of them because I don't know how well they last. Actually, I got three of them. Only thought I got two, maybe they shipped me an extra. So then they got the sticky on the bottom and you just, it's like super, glue, not super glue, but really, adhesive glue that you stick there and hold it and it should last for a while and it has a movable mount so can hold the camera while I play Pokemon yes so and this is for the wires and cables so I don't really have anything good to carry my my stuff in like I have a lot I carry I travel with a lot of things whether I'm just going out to play Pokemon or traveling to a different thing I need a lot of stuff to carry my electronics and cords and this that's what that pack will do and as you guys know in in uh in japan i actually broke my laptop screen or my case that was on there because i was running and i didn't realize my backpack was a little bit open and we were running for a dragonite and it the zippers on my backpack went out and the laptop fell and it hit the ground hard and a lot of people were like oh the laptop still works, it just has a little ding on the corner, but my case that was on there completely like absorbed a lot of the shock and it was like cracked. Like cracked in half on the front side, cracked in half on the back side. So that's what this is. My laptop for my MacBook Pro cover, same exact one, uh, the black color. So laptop safe, but that's what I got from Amazon. I have to head to the dentist and uh, then we're gonna go to Nina. Just got done getting my teeth cleaned. No cavities, I've actually never had cavities, and neither has my dad, so I think I got his teeth through the jeans, but we're gonna try and put this thing on, this is the car mount, gonna test it out. I also did get a nice little toothbrush, but yeah, then we're gonna get something to eat, and then had to need to grind some Pokemon, so let's try and get this thing set up though. This is gonna be staying for a while, better get it right. Bam! <laughs> uh, please. It's supposed to be adhesive, it's not supposed to move. It doesn't even stick on smooth surfaces and windows. Like, this isn't a suction, cu a suction cup one, this is a adhesive one. And it doesn't even do it. This thing sucks, man, it doesn't even work. Smooth surface to be any somewhat effective, which is not what it said on the Amazon description, god dang it. So. Well, the search continues. If any of you have any good ideas for dashboard mounts, for dashboards that are not smooth, like that you can stick on so your camera can mount on there, let me know. Let me know in the comments. <clears throat> hey, can I get three regular hamburgers with just ketchup? Okay. And then a medium fry. And then can I also have a three-piece chicken tenders with barbecue sauce? There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Made it to Nina. Got four or five. Yes, dude. Abra. That is what we want because Alakazam is OP. Hopefully it has a good IV. It's a wonder. Defense. Impressed by the stats. Dang it, man. Only impressed, but we'll check it to see the IV on it later. Uh... I'll take Abra because I need the candies and Alakazam is so good. I was just wishing the IV was a little bit better. Krabby, man. Krabby did get a buff. I know I said this the last time I hatched one, but whatever, man. He's still Garbo. Unless he's 100%. Um, 
I don't know what I'm missing at the lures, but I already caught one Abra here. Psyduck. If it's if it's good IV, I mean, I need a good IV Psyduck. I have enough candies. Impressed by the sats. Oh. If they if it's still a Rhyhorn nest, it should be. I don't think I'd have known of any migrations, but then I'm gonna lure up these lures, catch all the stuff with my plus. And it should be a good day. So guys, it sucks that my mount didn't work because now I have to have a weird camera angle again for another video holding the camera down here. But Rhyhorn Nest, thank goodness, is still here. So we got two more. Hoping that one of these will be a good IV because we are still looking for a good IV Rhyhorn, like I stated in like last video or something. But the lures around here are actually not lured up right now. They were when I got here, but I did a quick loop uh, to refill my eggs. No 10 kilometer eggs, sadly. Come on. Praise it. Praise it. Not likely to make much headway, so we're just going to transfer that bad boy right away. And then we got one more. One more lucky shot. Come on. Another 652. Well, I, I think the last one was 652. I, I don't recall. But yesterday we caught that 1300 ride on. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. All right, easy catches. I, like, honestly, I thought Rhyhorns were harder to catch, but no, they're not. They're actually really easy. So please be good, Evie. Certainly caught the attention. Decent IV, not the best, but we'll take it. So now we're going to go and chill at the four lure spot down there because that is where all the good spawns are. Nice. So I just burned like four lures to lure these up here. But I do have the best parking spot for here, and this Rhyhorn is very, very strong. Not as strong as the one yesterday. This one's 1281, but I still think it's cool to show. Like, it just blows my mind. A non-evolved Pokemon that is this strong, that can be still evolved. 1271. Certainly caught the attention, so we'll take it. But I do want to say, guys, like, this area here is actually really, really beautiful. Um, not so much right now because all the trees lost their leaves and the grass is really wet, but like on, a, on some, some nights in the summer, like this area, like the waterfront just looks so, so nice. And along with like the other areas that I'll show you around here. So you can see the water, give you kind of like, for those of you that are never here, I'll give you the little tour through the camera. So some of you, I've shown this park many times, but it's it's just very nice to look at and you can tell how windy it is too by how much the water is flowing like sometimes it's pretty it's pretty crazy like over down by the lighthouse down there like water just splashes up over it's it's pretty crazy but definitely a nice area here first good thing from the lure after sitting here for like i don't know 20 some minutes we have an omanite so i have quite a bit of omanite candies i think i have like 90 something and we're still waiting for it's it okay i thought it was gonna flame me we're still waiting for a good iv omanite isn't that the story with everything i'm waiting for a good iv uh i think everyone is on the same boat as me honestly like i only have two 100 iv pokemon the victory bell and a zubat so for gen 2 i'm set for the crowbat but please we're at 101 candies not liking to make much headway man I don't remember the last time like I caught a wonder or the top tier for a Pokemon. It's been so long. Hey, we got one of my least favorite Pokemon to catch, a War Turtle. The reason why is because they're so darn hard to catch, man. I say this every time one of these guys pops up, whether it be an Ivysaur, whether it be a War Turtle, whether it be a Charmeleon. They are the hard, one of the hardest Pokemon to catch, aside from the Raichu that I mentioned in my last video. Like, a lot of you guys mentioned Rapidash as well, because uh, it stands so far back. Honestly, with Rapidash, that's the one Pokemon where I just throw the ball straight, so I can get it there every time. I don't try and curveball it for those. There's no point. You're just going to end up wasting so many balls. So, Rapidash, I don't have too much trouble with, but come on, dude. Ugh. War Turtles, man. Or any second starter evolution are just near impossible to catch, man. Like, come on. Please. No. Instant break. Oh. Oh. Oh, see what I mean? 
Oh gosh, another one fled me. Like, there's so many war turtles that have fled me in. We've had long, drawn out battles. But hey, we got a Geodude here, so. 5 552. Hey guys, it's currently like. I'd say an hour or two hours later. And I actually fell asleep and took a nap. <laughs> but Carla just got done with work and she's, and she's over in the area. She stopped by to say hi. The game isn't giving you revives, why is that? Because it knows I need them. <laughs> who, who destroyed all your Pokemon? You. No oh my god, you're recording me! I made an <laughs> ugly face! <laughs> well, fine, I'll cut it out. <laughs> When, if she's not with me or not playing, a lot of times I'll just sign on to her account on my other phone <laughs> to try and help burn down gyms faster. But, no, like, last night I didn't sleep very well, uh, like, at all. Only got, like, a couple hours of sleep. So, tonight I'll probably knock out, because we have a really early flight tomorrow for California. Are you excited? Yes. Where are we going? We're going to Hollywood. <laughs> Not all. Again, you were recording me while I made it. It's so hard to tell. And I might head home because I want to sleep. <laughs> so the drive home was a little interesting. It was really raining. There was an accident, so it was like standstill traffic. But I got home and I literally fell asleep for a couple hours. And then Carlos said I was like talking in my sleep. Is this true? Yes, it is. What was I saying? You were going on about your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, I was talking about Boo Tramp and Nick. I don't know if that was Trainer Chips Nick or Nick at Night, but I assume probably Nick at Night if it was a relation with Boo Tramp. I, I, I don't know. She said I was talking about like emails or something. <laughs> so I have no idea. Why was it so funny to you though? Because you would be talking and then you would start mumbling and then you'd start snoring and then I'd laugh and then it would start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have it confirmed when I'm super tired. I talk in my sleep. <clears throat> yeah, I, I fell asleep for quite a while. Like I was so tired because I didn't sleep with like a lot last night at all. But our flight is at 6.30 tomorrow so I have to get up early again. It's almost 12 o'clock but I heard Ness changed. So that means that Rhyhorn Nest, thank God I got some use out of it, and Nina, uh, I don't know what it is now. I'll have to check it when I get back from California. And then the Pikachu Nest, a couple miles away from my house, I'm going to go check that out right now. Uh, yes, we are. <laughs> Carla said no, but yes, we are. I want to see what it is before I leave, see if it's anything good. And then I have to pack still, and then try and get some sleep, because it's going to be a long day in California. Because we're probably going to go to Santa Monica, I think, the first day. So it is raining. It is late at night. Should be sleeping. But dedication, man. I want to see what that nest is. It's killing me. I really want to find out. Um, yeah, you can see how wet it is. It might. It might turn to snow. <laughs> but dude, look at this guy chilling. He's still up. Looks like he's gaming. Got the headset on there. He's dedicated to whatever game he's playing. We made a sad discovery about our nest. We have a lot of Eevee here and a Kadabra, so we'll take that because... Did you know that Alakazam is really strong now? Did I tell you that? You did. I did, but this will be my first catch of the day if he doesn't flee me. Hopefully we have a good IV Kadabra. You never know. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually really disappointed in our nest. You guys will see it very soon. And the new tracker... I'm indifferent about it. For real players, you, it, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, you do have your, I think you do have your near sightings back, like if you're so far away from a, a Pokestop. But since a Pokestop is right behind me, you can see the Voltorb. And it'll take me there. Bam. So, uh, looking at the trackers and radars and stuff, it has now turned into a Voltorb nest because there's like... I've never ever saw those before and there's like five on there. So sadly, not a good nest. We'll wait until next time. So that is going to wrap up the video. Just gonna pack, test out my new travel backpack here. It's got a ton of compartments and everything. I already have my portable charger. So with that though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure like you did. Tomorrow you'll see the travel day and then us going to either Long Beach or Santa Monica Pier. So hope you guys enjoyed it though and I'll see you guys later.